Happy July 7th, 2022. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful summer day to enjoy the Lord's faithfulness. Uh, it's so important. It's so timely for us to gather so many prayer requests, so many needs, so many dire situations. Collect them. Write them down. Put them in your heart and go before the Lord's throne. Just think about through the years, how many people interceded for you. I can think about my grandmothers and how I was going through my rebellious period in my teenage years. And my mother would go into her bedroom, she would close the door and she and her mother would intercede, not only for me, but for others. But it's something about having a list having a compilation of concerns that does not have anything directly to do with you, but praying for others outside of your sphere. Yeah, we're praying for the young lady who is in Russia, detained WNBA. Yeah, Brittany, listen, but there are other people who are detained in Russia who have been held for almost four years. So we're praying for all of those people who are held against their will for whatever charges, guilty or not. The Lord knows the details. We're praying for still the violence that's ravaging our community as well as outside of the community. We're praying for everyone who has been touched in that Highland Park incident. But like I said, that happens every day across the country across the world as far as gun violence. So we're asking the Lord to intervene as far as these laws, but most of all, in people's hearts. And the song that the Lord put in my heart is a song from Hezekiah Walker. I need you to survive. We need one another to intercede, to pray for each other, and to come outside of ourselves and to lay concerns before his throne. Absolutely. And guess what? Daniel, in the ninth chapter of the book in the Bible, even interceded for those in Israel. He was asking for mercy and he was confessing the sin and the wrongdoing and the unfaithfulness of Israel in general. And he did not say they, because you know, Daniel was a man after God's own heart. He purposed in his heart. He was disciplined. The Lord opened up revelation. He was led by the Lord and his inspiration. But even Daniel counted himself unworthy. Yeah, it says in verse two, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. In verse three, and I set my face unto the Lord to seek by prayer and supplication with fastings 
and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord, my God, and made my confession and said, O oh Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments. Verse five, we, we, not they, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto the servants, the voice of the prophets. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, verse 7. O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of face. The Lord our God, verse 9, belong mercies and forgiveness. Though we have, we, not they, we have rebelled against him. Neither have we, not they, obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws. My goodness, do you see the humility of Daniel? That is a model. That is an exemplary prototype, example of how we should pray for others and inclusive of ourselves as far as not, us not meeting what God has, has expected us to do. But we can't do anything without him. So he is acknowledging that he is the only one that can work miracles. In verse... 18, oh my God, incline thy ear, please listen and hear, open thine eyes and behold our desolations and the city which is called by thy name. For we do not present our supplications before thee for our righteousness, but for thy great mercies. Remember, the Lord's mercies are in the clouds. They reach up the clouds and his faithfulness up to the heavens. So he is the one who will answer our prayers, but we have to pray for one another. We need one another. In Nehemiah 1.4, we see another example of how Nehemiah went before the Lord and mourned and sat down and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. And in Matthew 6.8, my father knows the things we have need of before we ask. In Isaiah 65.24, yes, even it's going to come to the point where even before we ask, even before we make it known, the Lord will answer, yes, speedily. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are our advocate, that you are our intercessor, Father, Lord, that you go to our Father in heaven. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that we can lay all of our concerns. Lord, we ask you to bless all that is going on in the land as far as in Russia and Ukraine here in Chicago and Highland Park and across the country, Washington, D.C. Have your way and use us for your glory as we continue to pray. In Jesus' name, amen.